A bizarre bullying scandal involving the NFL's Miami Dolphins is putting a spotlight on troubling locker room culture. The Dolphins suspended guard Richie Incognito late Sunday for misconduct related to the treatment of his African-American teammate, Jonathan Martin, who abruptly left the team a week ago to receive help for emotional issues. The misconduct ranges from racially abusive texts to making Martin foot the bill for a trip to Vegas for Incognito. Joining us on the phone is Arise News sports contributor Andrew Rosario to tell us more about this story. Uh, Andrew, sorry I can't see you, but I'm glad that you're on the phone. Uh, can you sort of talk about this issue and how this particular case is different than what might be considered normal, uh, you know, hazing behavior amongst athletes in a locker room? Yeah, good evening, Debbie. Uh, it is very disturbing coming out of Miami, like you mentioned they, the Dolphins indefinitely suspended guard Richie Incognito and what was being described as a bullying teammate and second-year player Jonathan Martin. Now, this is different in that um, they have actual text messages that were very vile, very vulgar, and uh, filled you know, with hate uh, towards other uh, players. Now, you mentioned uh, um, there has been other incidences where teammates go after one another, especially when you have a rookie coming on the team. Teams have been known to haze rookies, any, anything from you know, taping them to the goalposts to uh, putting them in ice tubs naked. But this is totally uh, a different situation. Yeah, and it would seem like this Mr. Incognito has sort of uh, run afoul of rules uh, and perhaps even ethics for a long time. He's, he's been suspended or, or penalized, uh, going all the way back to his early days uh, in Nebraska uh, 10 years ago. So I guess my question to you is how could a, a guy like this, who at one point in 2009 was voted the dirtiest player uh, in a NFL poll by Sporting News, how could he have uh, gone? On so long without being suspended, without being uh, put out of this game. Well, that's what both the uh, league and the Players Association are looking into as well, because he does have a history of not only off the field issues, but on the field issues as well. Um, he's gotten into numerous uh, fights and brawls at one point, um, uh, taking off his helmet and almost using it as a weapon to hit another player. So. Uh, his history is not very good. And, you know, it's very interesting the way this unfolded, as I understand. Um, the news came out that Jonathan Martin was leaving the team. And as I understand it, the Miami Dolphins said, uh, we know nothing about this, that we've, had, we've received no reports of bullying. And in the same day, released a statement suspending uh, in, incognito. What do you make of that? That's what everyone's asking. They want to know why the team went from defending him to automatically just getting rid of him indefinitely. Apparently, they were not aware of the text messages until recently when they looked at the text messages and confirmed that they allegedly were coming from incognito. They decided to put their foot down and um, suspend him indefinitely. I don't think we're going to be seeing him uh, in a Dolphins uniform for the rest of this year and maybe not in the NFL for the rest of his career. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you is do you think he'll ever play again for the NFL? Any I don't team? Think, I don't think so. Not based on the information that's coming out. And there's supposed to be more information coming out from other teammates um, who are going to support, um, you know, Jonathan Martin. Well, and speaking of Jonathan Martin, is, do you know anything about how he is doing and when we might see him again now that Incognito is off the team, might we see him back in his uniform? I think we will. I think they're going to give him a little bit more time to sort out the situation, to make sure that the proper uh, things are done to ensure that nothing like that ever happens, not only to him, but any of his other teammates or anybody else you know, in the NFL. It's been a crazy week in that, uh, aside from this, we had Denver's head coach, who underwent heart surgery, and then last night at halftime of the football game, Texans coach Gary Kubiak collapsed at halftime, and they had to take him off on a stretcher. There was fears that he might have had a stroke, uh, and they're tending to him right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Andrew, do you think there might be any sort of um, backlash against Jonathan Martin? I mean, you know, my, my impression of an NFL player is they're supposed to be tough and be able, you know, to take it on the field as well as off the field. Might some of his teammates uh, look down at him because he uh, buckled under whatever this pressure was that Incognito put on him? I don't think there'll be much backlash. I think he'll get a lot of support. But the big question is, this has been going on for quite some time, as you alluded to, the fact that um, some of his teammates 
coerced uh, Martin into giving up almost $15,000 to take a trip to Las Vegas, which he didn't even go on. And as a result of that, um, they started just, there was a lot more done to him, not only by Incognito, but other members of the Miami Dolphins. And we're going to find out who those other members are very, real soon. Mm -hmm. What are some of the other consequences do you suspect that Incognito might face other than the suspension? That's a good question. I guess it all depends on the, uh, the remaining information, when it comes out, uh, what exactly was said, what exactly was done. And then based on that, I think we're going to see some more action taken against him. All right, Andrew Rosario, thank you so much for calling in. We do appreciate it. We'll see Always you again great soon. Always talking with you, Debbie. All right, take care. And this is Arise America.